You are about to hear real people reliving traumatic customer service experiences for the first time. What you're about to see is not a news broadcast. These are honest portrayals of real online reviews. Be ready to see humanity at its worst. Christiel did what any worried mother would with a nearly unconscious son. She went to a local emergency room, but as she soon learned, Ma'am! This just wasn't any emergency room. The gross negligence of this hospital is mind-blowing. I had rushed my son to this facility because I was worried he might die. Denver, Colorado, a city known for its omelets, scenic views and crisp air, but a dark underbelly quakes beneath the surface. Somebody help me, please! Please, somebody help! I basically grabbed my kid, threw him in the car, and sped down the street. Her son was clearly suffering from some malady, but could anyone at the hospital give Christy L. the answer she deserved? So I parked my car in an unmarked spot, and this valet immediately descends upon me. Sorry, ma'am, you can't park here. What? So can't you see my son is dying? We have long-term parking for that. This valet stand is for doctors only. And what makes you think I'm not a doctor, huh? Because I'm a woman and a mother? Uh, no, it's because you haven't said you are. You are not dressed like one and you've shown me zero credentials. Do you have credentials? How is this for credentials? I have a dying son. Yeah, I can see. Get out of my way. We finally got into the ER and checked in like anyone else would. How does someone please help me? My son is very unwell. Oh, excuse me. I, I, I'm the mother of a dying son and I need your help. Hi, Mom. Can you please fill this out? I need help, not paperwork. I waited for what seemed like an eternity as they work on saving my son from the scariest moment of his entire life. Finally, the nurse comes out and she tries to walk by me without even giving me an update. I kindly pleaded with the nurse for an answer to whether or not my son had survived. And what have you done with him? He's my whole family, my heart. She had the gall to tell me. Ma'am, you need to calm down. The doctor will be with you when he's ready. Besides, it's not that big a deal. No one in history ever die from smoking weed. Excuse me, what did you say? She talked about my son getting high on weed like it was no big deal. I will say it again. No one in history ever died from smoking weed. I'm his mother for God's sake, and he's dying of an OD? How dare she? That is not the work of a marijuana cigarette. Did you see his his eyes, his brain is mush. He can, he can barely talk. Like he must be on some other kind of drug. Fentanyl, I, Fenty, the kids are calling it. I mean, if he is on marijuana, then how many milligrams is it? Is it lethal? Tell me, he could barely breathe. You need to stop overreacting. She gave me a blank stare like I was crazy. I swear to God, if one more person tells me to stop overreacting, I am going to lose my shit. Then, after all this injustice. Ma'am, please don't overreact, but I really need you to move your car right now. Christy Yell is a mother hell-bent on saving her son's life, but the local hospital that's meant to be her son's salvation has only caused her more misery. When I returned from putting my car somewhere, I decided I had had enough. I wanted to speak to my son maybe find a new ER that would actually take his condition seriously. And you know what? I discovered my son is still asleep and cannot be woken up. Dr. Newman finally comes to talk to me. Everything's gonna be okay. I'm Dr. Newman. Are you the one in charge of saving my son's life? Well, I'm not sure saving his life is exactly how I'd put it. <laughs> Why is it like preparing his body for an open casket? No, 
No, I mean, it's more like giving him a place to chill out while he rides out this incredible high. And it is incredible, so if you could write down that strain for me. I stare at this man like he is the stupidest being on Earth, other than that nurse. Obviously kidding. No, he's just been sleeping and, and eating, neither of which are deadly, but uh, cannabis will do that to you. No shit, Doc. You don't think I know what's going on here? All of this gaslighting me with marijuana talk so you don't get caught in a wrongful death lawsuit. I want the real answers, and I want them now. Look, lady, if you don't want to accept the honest reality that your son got a little too stoned after smoking a peace pipe, then I don't know what to tell you. And he leaves in a hurry because everything I told him was the truth. You seem a little unhinged, to be what? honest. And, and I've got some other patients, so. What other patients? Dr. Melvin! Ah, those other patients. He doesn't have shit to stand on. We're getting a second opinion. You hear that, Dr. Newman? A second opinion. One of my ass. Ma'am! This wasn't the first time this hospital showed me their stupidity, but it is definitely the last. In the end, Christiel never got the answers she wanted, but she did get the answers she needed. And while old mom might not be giving this hospital many stars for their treatment of her son, at least her sweet Dennis scored some sweet treats to soften the blow of the fury he's obviously in store for when he gets home and wakes up from his deadly nap. Okay.